in a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, Cruel Blonde Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Kevin. I'm Aaron. And we are here with another DC movie reaction, this time <coughs> the, the Suicide Squad. Da, da, da. Uh, not Suicide Squad, though. Uh, which I have not seen. Which you have not seen. Rick, once again, is our control group for this DC reaction. Last time, when we did the Snyder Cut, which you can find all three, we had three parts of that. Uh, that reaction back then. Rick hadn't seen the original. Still haven't. And here, this is kind of a soft reboot a little bit, though it still has many of the same characters. This one has a wrestler. So this I'm does have a wrestler. Uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have Rick to be able to have a, a voice of people that haven't seen the original and how it holds up watching this. What do you think about it, Aaron? I'm trying to think if the last one had a wrestler. I think that's what Calvin was doing too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it no, I don't think there was one in the trailer. I don't believe there's a wrestler. Did it have a martial? Art? It does have a martial arts, right? That is not the same. I know, but I was just trying to get it right. Nope. <laughs> what it did have was some very bad editing choices. Yeah, it Rick, <laughs> didn't it have Ric Flair. No. Woo! Oh, you want me to lie? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe uh, flag. So, guys, we're watching this off of HBO Max, as I'm sure many of you have done as well, uh, or you went to the theater. If you go to the theater. You know, a trick you can do, you can actually take our full-length reaction with you to the theater, put a headphone in, you got a live commentary going right there. Because we have a full-length reaction of this reaction as well. Okay, I don't know how well that would work, but it seems like a great idea. If you have YouTube see no Premium, you can watch YouTube videos with the screen locked so that you, you're not blinding the people behind you. Fuck yeah, turn your brightness down. Uh, anyway, or just check out the full-length reaction, sync it up with the version of yeah. Uber HBO Max as well. Uh, the, that is down in the description. It is something that we offer on Patreon. It's a fantastic way to not only support us, but you get some cool rewards too. So check that out. I am ready for The Suicide Squad. Sure, yeah. No, I'm excited. The trailers have looked really good. I'm hoping they didn't bury the lead of like the coolest stuff they have for the movie in the trailers. So We'll see. I'm excited to see. Yes. Hit the button. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Johnny, Johnny Cash. Cash! Fuck yeah! Damn it. So this Love movie should be better. Yes. <laughs> but I shot a man in Reno. Hey, He's, orange cross. He's got cross. But no shoelaces. He's got him in sports mode, too. Oh. It's like a bullseye. Oh. You failed ah. to follow my orders in any wow. way. Oh. Ah. Wow. Yeah, that's that's, a, big that's a big needle for oh, a little God. bomb. Your commanding officer will be Colonel Rick Flag. Rick Flag. Oh, uh, Rick, not Rick Flair. <laughs> Why is that flag there? For the shot. Number two. Good to know. <laughs> Coming through. Turn it around. Yeah. No. Yeah. Put it in there. Now you're safe. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do what? Your name is TDK, correct? Yeah. Your name is Letters? All names are Letters, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is this a dog? What? <laughs> is, is this thing a dog? A, a dog? Yes. What? What kind of dog do you think it is, mate? I'm gonna go with Afghan Hound. Just where does an Afghan Hound have bloody thumbs? Oh my god, is it a werewolf? Yo, they sent me into a werewolf? <laughs> he's not a werewolf, okay? He's a weasel. He's harmless. I mean, he's not harmless. He's killed 27 children, but, you know. Jesus. I would uh, not want to be in charge of this group. I wouldn't no. sit next to Weasel. You sent me next to a werewolf? <laughs> you guys sent me next to a weasel? <laughs> Man, the baller. <laughs> what if Weasel dies right here? Oh my gosh, I think Weasel's dying. <laughs> Savon's going to save him. What if he dies? Who's going to give him mouth to mouth? I'm not giving him mouth to mouth. This is great. I'll just do compressions. The Weasel is dead! I repeat, the Weasel is dead! The Weasel died. I think he might really be dead? I don't the know. Weasel died landing. He didn't even make it to the beach. Weasel is dead. 
He died <laughs> jumping out of the helicopter. <laughs> we got a deal, right? Uh, uh, Wallet, we're made. Uh, I I'm the one who called you. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. I had a dumb ass chopper first. Boomerang! Oh. Whoa. Nice. Oh. This is rated R, right? It's gotta be. Yes. Now, maybe PG. <laughs> no. <laughs> TDK is the detachable kid? Dispendable kid. What the fuck? Yeah, baby. So They're like running forward. He just standing up. Yeah. Does he have to stand up? <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. He's got She's it. He's fucking up that bird. Oh. You better jump. All she did was jump on it. No. Boomerang. Oh, what? They killed they Captain kind of Boomerang. Boomerang. Again! No fucking way! He was my favorite in the last time! Oh, he was javelin. Oh, this is where we don't recognize him. Oh, oh my god! god. Detachable! <laughs> oh my gosh. What are you gonna do? Run? Jeez. We just killed everybody, but like Harley and Rick? Yep. I didn't do shit. Warner Brothers Pictures presents. Oh my god. This has got to be R. How's Team 2 holding up? Fucking James Gunn, man. That was Team See, 1. Is it Team 2? Team 2 team is the real. Oh, is it point. Shark? Bravo. Yeah, it is. Man. Captain man. Boomerang. I'm yeah, sad that he's gone. I'm so fucking pissed. Oh. No. Aaron, he is dead. His father was a mercenary who trained his son to kill from the moment he was born. Back, so. He's in yeah. prison for putting Superman in the ICU with a kryptonite bullet. <laughs> Miss Waller said maybe you could help me This is me how out. Waller gets him. Mm-hmm. You never know what might happen to a frail young thing like that. Shames me to say <sighs> that we have the highest mortality rate in the entire U.S. prison Shames system. Me. Her eyes are dead, man. Look at her. Yeah. You're pressing in my fucking door! I'm protecting this country. She didn't blinch. Miss Waller, I don't... Stand think. down! That was the most emotion she's had. His father was a soldier who trained his son how to kill from the moment he was born. You just said each member of the team is chosen for their unique abilities. He does exactly what I do. I was gonna say, that's exactly what she said. Whatever the case, he's strong and deadly. Does it talk? Book read. Wow. Book read. <laughs> <laughs> See that? See that? It's pretending to read a book. So smart, me. Enjoy books so much. Be a mic. Dude, <laughs> Stallone's voice is so perfect. She controls rats. Now I call that is a disgusting superpower. This is Sebastian. Say hello, Sebastian. Uh. I'm not shaking the rat's hand. <laughs> He's afraid of rats. <laughs> and find Sebastian. Polka dot man. What does he do? Throw polka dots at people? He does. He throws polka dots at people. <laughs> hey, polka dot man! I was hoping you'd entertain my kid's birthday party. That's you good. fucking pussy! Yeah, it is. I bet he's gonna polka dot Sean Gunn. <laughs> there he is. <clears throat> That's Sean Gunn too. Yeah. I'm gonna hope he does that <laughs> when I'm outside. As Project Starfish. Starfish? What's the slang term for a butthole? Think there's any connection? No. No. In no way. Connection. Hand. Yes. That is your hand, the no way. Very good. <laughs> There's something wrong with your skin. It's just a rash. Holy That's shit. a rash. <laughs> it's just it's a glowing. rash. They glow in the dark. Oh, Harley! Fit to carry. Why traveling? Dead. What the oh man, fuck? he looks like he's suffering. That's what he wants to die. Yeah. Oh fuck. Are these the polka dots he throws at people? Is he like Mineta? So 
Yes. And you're on a team with me? <laughs> not something I asked for. Tighty whities Really? Now that's just racist. No, it's not racist. <laughs> Bloodsport's got a rat phobia. What? Did no one ever check on these things? Why would I share my liabilities? Rat! <laughs> <laughs> He's offering you a pretty leaf to show you it means no harm. Why the fuck would I want a leaf? <laughs> just get the rats out of <laughs> Just he just laughing. <clears throat> Have no friends. This game looks so good. Yeah. If you did, would you eat them? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Take a question. I cherish peace with all my heart. I don't care how many men, women, and children I need to kill to get it. Damn. I thought you were the crazy one. Oh yeah. <laughs> God. He's gonna. Oh, that guy. You get snuck up on by a shark on land, you deserve to be eaten. Oh my god. I think that's gotta be a lot a little bit in there. Rats! Oh, that's terrifying! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I think I was sleeping! That gun. He has a silence. He has a really silence for that gun. Oh, there goes your stealth. Is that a long slide desert eagle with a suppressor? Can't believe you saw a dick in a DC movie. Oh my god! I was like, you missed? No. You didn't miss. These they're, fuckers. They're trying to be like non-lethal. You lose. Exploding compression bullets. I was gonna say, explode. No one likes to show off. Unless what they're showing off is dope as fuck. Fuck. That's true. One. Look at that! He do. What the hell? Whatever the hell he wants. He does throw poke out to me. I don't like to kill people, but if I pretend they're my mom, it's easy. TMI, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, he's having a good time. They killed all those people. This is Sol Soria. She's the leader of the Freedom Fighters. The, they killed all of them. Down the current government. They, they saved my life. Oh. Why did my people not alert me of your arrival? About that. We didn't see any people. Yeah, I didn't see any people. Yeah, so there's no way they can't. I turned them into my mother right. in my head and killed them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a finger. Uh-oh. Is that rat waving at me? No, oh, he's so sweet. What is this? Project <laughs> Starfish. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. So, uh, would you be so kind as to join me? I'm so kind. Sure. So if you're lonely, why is you I haven't so watched Birds of Prey. Does she have that accent in that movie, too? I don't feel like she had it very much in Suicide Squad. I think she has it more in that than she yeah. does in Suicide Squad. I guess she feels so much more Harley Quinn to me yeah. than she ever has. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> They're just wrecking this place. Oh, it's gonna catch oh, him. Oh my god. Jesus. And anyone they ever loved will be sent to Jotunheim to feed the beast. I'm sorry. Yep. Crazy. Hot. Recently, I made a promise to myself that the next time I got a boyfriend, I'd be on the lookout for red flags. And if I saw any, I would do the healthy thing. The and I would murder him. And killing kids. 
kind of a red flag. Two of them like weasel. Good for you, Harley. Damn. She got some independence. Yeah. But she was emancipated. <laughs> I can't believe this thing had a bullet. <laughs> it's an interdimensional virus. Hmm. Fuck is that? My mother was a scientist at Star Labs, and she was obsessed with turning me and my brothers and sisters into superheroes. Where is she now? Everywhere. <laughs> Holy fuck. That... That was creepy. That poor man. Dude, that guy can act, man. <laughs> nom nom. Nom nom. Are you Milton? <laughs> I wear disguise. Oh, you're going to wear a disguise. See? Hey, he's learning <laughs> Spanish. And what kind of disguise? Merrick mustache. <laughs> yeah. I love that guy. <laughs> I'd love to see it. It's going to be tiny. It's I really, really like Sylvester big. Stallone and his voice for this guy. It's so it. fun. All he's doing is going extra Sylvester Stallone to Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fake mustache. <laughs> you still look exactly like yourself. <laughs> the worst fake mustache I've ever seen. And if you fooled us, we'd have to kill you. Shark shaped bloke with a mustache creeping up on us like that. Fuck <laughs> you! They brought us trinkets to live on. And they kept us warm at nights when we would have frozen. Jesus. Fuck that. Yeah, but if you're frozen or covered in rats. I know. I'd freeze. <laughs> You're too heavy to carry. Yeah, I just. Uh. She's dead, Aaron. Was it was in his arm. You can't feel it anymore. Hey, Chica. Forgot the rat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need him dance with Baron Zemo. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is terrible for him. Oh my gosh. That woman got so much screen time. <laughs> oh god. Oh, move it! Poor guy's just seeing his mom everywhere. Oh, Nigga. I can't help but think about it. Oh! 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 That's terrifying. You are perceivably panicked. I'm guessing that you are not the alphas of this battalion. Do you want a dozen angry rodents crawling up your ass? I had something to be what you expect. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed a bit flustered. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Deja vu? <laughs> Damn it, Britain. <laughs> Does his massive arm stuck through that hole? Man, you know who would be really helpful right now? King Shark? No, TDK. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the attachable kid, yeah. He can put his arm through there and drive. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, they're carrying that truck. Yeah. Going off the cliff! Fuck! Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> He's just holding himself up like. I guess the one situation TDK would have been useful in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Why is he, what's he, who's he texting? <laughs> Everyone loves someone. What did that say? Oh, gosh, Damn. that upper body strength, Harley. <clears throat> oh, dude, that head bounce was great. That was good. It looked almost digital for a second. Jeez. So close to the camera. Life goes on without me. Dude, his arm. You should already be shooting. <laughs> Is that really happening, Aaron? 
I don't know what's going on in this movie anymore. <laughs> Polka dots is flat as shit. Maybe that's real. That's real. Right. That's real. Right. This is how they got the PG rating. This is what happened in Hunter Hunter that one time when they had to censor things. Oh, it's the javelin. There's still blood on the screen. Probably be what she sees too, you know. Yeah, I know. It's gone to like a dream state yeah. for her now. She's this, this enjoying a, so much killing. Oh, that was good shots. This is her bloodlust. Bird yeah, bird. Around. They're like the same color as those other uh, birds. Like Instagram filter on. From Savant. <laughs> right. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any incoming traffic. Bird. Now, now it. Stay off the comp. <laughs> Bird. You were gonna save me? It was a really good plan, too. <laughs> well, I can go back inside and you can still do it. That's patronizing. That's patronizing. There are security cameras everywhere. They're being dealt with. Rats on top of them are eating the, the cables. Yeah, chilling on the wires. Good job, Enter. Once we're inside, we separate into teams. I am walking back and forth. <laughs> It's just suicide. Well, that's kind of our thing. Yeah. That's the only thing. Yeah. Yeah. Really, you need to look. So yeah, it bright. is. I've been in rain like that before. Yeah. It's so bright. And it's, I've honestly never really seen it on film. No. Not done well like this, anyway. Uh, no American Flash this time. I think some of the shots equal out like a like what you would see in a comic. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, Jesus. This has a sword. <laughs> you got the worst of buddy. Oh, oh my oh. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it's in a plastic yeah. bag. Your team will see That's a nice down, 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 Love that title down, card. Down, 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 I kind of forgot it was a title card. I thought it was yeah. just a button. Oh, these are all taking over people yeah. that have been fed to are they it. start? Yeah. Thousands. Oh my Jesus. gosh. It's a whole fucking lot bigger than it used to be. You fed a lot of people. Oh. I'm tired of covering up their dirty little secrets. This time these sons of bitches are gonna be held accountable. Oh, no. I can't let you do that, Colonel. He serves America. Don't make me do this. Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh! Ah! What have you people got? Oh. Ah! Thank you! Oh, he's gonna get. He's gonna feast on some consciousness now. Trails. Come on, we can go this way. <laughs> oh, that's a bridge of high, yeah! Oh. oh! That's so gory! Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So fucking I'm thorough. Sorry, kid. Oh, no. Damn it! Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so we're gonna Jeez. figure out what happened upstairs. I felt like that was weird. Sure. Things blew up early. <sighs> Maybe they broke in. They're like weird jellyfish, but they're not jellyfish. I think they're called like angel jellyfish because they have the little wings. Maybe they're aliens too. New dumb friends. <laughs> 
<laughs> in <the> fast. <laughs> the sweet scene. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fizzle sticks. Hold on. Oh, oh shit! I saved him. Yeah. Oh, oh, not shit. the bus driver. I can kill my mom. Jesus. He just shoots teeth. Oh, it's hard, just, man. I just... It's like plasma. What do they go? What do they go after that? It's like interdimensional something. They killed Milton. What was Milton gonna do? He was helping us. Who's Milton? What? <laughs> Not any Milton. Fuck! He has been with us. <laughs> yes. No! Oh no. What? There's explosives over there. Oh. I told you this is the same. Those cubicles. Oh. oh, okay. There we go. It didn't really help much. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh my! I don't think those are real. Yeah, no, no. no, not King Shark. Is he dead? No. Take your children to see this superhero movie. Where are we gonna go? I don't know. Jump out on the building as it slides off. Onto the rest of the building yeah. that's not falling? Maybe. Javelin. Oh, 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 this is gonna hurt. Oh, Mask broke. broke his fucking helmet. Okay, every floor. Oh my gosh, okay. That's a quick elevator. This is a Nathan Drake thing. Oh, oh my, my god! Oh, no. <laughs> he is... Look at that, that's way more badass. <laughs> it's a hell of an entrance. <laughs> his bullet goes through his. His bullet has a bullet nice oh, shooting through. A smaller bullet through the center. Javelins for the eyeball or something. Maybe. Like the Scorpion King? Oh, I love the color. Yes. He does have like a giant weakness. Susan Squad, the star of the comic. <laughs> it's gonna release all the little ones. Oh, oh fuck. no. So many. That's your problem. And you don't have a helmet. This city is mine. Jesus. Fair enough. Right? All right, I'll tell you what, you keep the city, that's all you get, and we're gonna leave. Like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do, Waller? Oh my god, Miss Waller! We've got a freaking kaiju up in this shit! <laughs> up in this shit! I hope this thing stays here. It doesn't get even bigger. Is that its, like, butt, or is that, like, its armpit? I mean, it has five of them, regardless. I know, but, like, which one is that? I guess, I don't know. Is it, like, huh, or is it, like, Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing, Task Force X? You gonna just blow them all up? Fuck! And then you lost the motherfucking warning! Oh, oh, oh yeah! Fuck. Oh my god! What the fuck did you do? Get on the satellite, Dale, you fucking dickhead! <laughs> fucking Dale! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Dale! Dude. <laughs> done it so this interesting. So fucking cool. So fucking cool. Let's just make it bigger. It's just a super One transform. more! Bigger! Bigger! Shooting fireworks at it. Why is it yeah. spin at the end? It goes fast. Why not? What's up, Ash? Monster is numb numb! Monster Nom Nom. Yes! That's the Hulk Smash. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Jesus! That's a good new one! Eat it! You see who that is? It's your mom! It's your mom! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's, just, it's, just sharks. <laughs> it's ridiculous! It's so good! I love it so much! Working. Oh. <laughs> so silly. Oh, it's 
<laughs> all of them are hurting. Do you think yeah. that they'll be freed if they kill Starro? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they're all part I'm a superhero! I'm a motherfucking no. superhero! Yeah. That's definitely the... <sighs> Got his wish. Superhero movie. Yeah. Oh, no! Jesus. He'll be okay. He took the whole building down. city in the world has more rats than people. She's at a rock concert with a lighter. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing to everyone? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, man. Dude, she would be king of New York. Dude, this might be... She would be king of the planet. This might be one of the more OP powers, huh? Oh. I, who would have thought that you hated this movie, Rat Catcher 2? Is, is the, the most one. powerful <laughs> thing, you know? right? Oh They're going to eat Starro. They're going to eat Starro. This, no, there's no way it's gonna work, right? That's a lot of rats. Yeah, but they're like, when you get like a swarm of bugs, man, she can bugs don't kill you. Yeah, there we go. Look, look at that. Look, look at that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> like, that's a it video, even ramps up to the end. Yeah. Right there. there you go, Make buddy. Sebastian! 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 I didn't notice that in the beginning. Yeah, no. I did not I. I was too busy closing my eyes because of the needles. Yeah. <laughs> He's like scratching his back. Oh! oh Vitreous oh, fluid. That's fucking cool. Well, I did not expect this. This is cool. Oh, now the rats can in. get in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go, Sebastian! Eat away! There he goes. goes! Oh gosh, this is cool. Now been... they can eat him from the inside. I don't think there's ever been a movie like this. Doom Patrol. Yeah, that's Not the closest movie. I could think of. It's so, like, the music. I don't know. It doesn't <laughs> it's, match. I don't, it's fucked I mean, up. Kind of. It, it, it kind of matches. It, does. it kind of doesn't. It, it's setting a. It's setting a tone for you. It's like this is so majestic, you know. But it's like. I was happy, floating, staring at the stars. Aww. They could have sent you back and destroy the city. It's a broken. You got too big by that point. Flag was my friend. Mine too. I haven't got many of those. I could be your friend, Milton. Not my name. Not my name. <laughs> He's not Milton. <laughs> nom nom. Really? That is what you're thinking about right now. No, that num num no. No, it's not num num. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Another birthday party. Oh, and it's a bit too late. Trying to sleep, huh? I picture us hot hands where we're all moving in the fire. The fight's in right now. I just wanted to feel the fire. Forever you remember the team that died. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Is this just happening now or did it happen back then? I like it's dark. Think, I like to think this is taking days. The fires have gone out. Well, there's going to be some missing children, I think. Back <laughs> on it. As it is. What? Is there you and me with? <laughs> yep. Is there more? No, yeah, there is more. Good. Said they found him in the rubble. Oh, who lived? They were shocked his heart was still beating. I wasn't Flag? sure how safe it was shipping him back here. But I'm thinking Boomer, Cena. Boomerang? Or is it yeah, John Cena? Yeah. John Cena. I realize Smash. this is revenge, right? Waller knows we double-crossed her and she's getting back at us by saddling us with this douchebag. Yep. What do you guys want him for? Just to save the fucking world, that's all. 
Is he getting a solo movie? He's getting a series. A TV series. We knew, uh, I think we knew that, but yeah. once he died, I was like, I guess it's a prequel. <laughs> <laughs> People died. Was it better than the last one? Uh, in every conceivable way. Yeah. I, I think, at the very least, like, editing-wise and fight-wise and stuff, like, a lot of that stuff is definitely better. The last one, I, I mean, I, I feel... do think that this one still suffers from, like, there's just a lot of characters sometimes, and I want more from yeah. each of them sometimes. Uh, I found that to be I mean? a strength, honestly. Like, I didn't I care about... The nature of their disposability, I enjoyed it. The, you know, the way that people were dying rather yeah. than being sad that they were leaving. Yeah. Because these characters are so damaged. Like, I, I can't make myself care too much about them. Yeah. They're just enjoyable to watch. I mean, I mean we were presented to them from, the, from Amanda Waller's, you know, like, these are tools to be used. Yeah. And who gives a shit if they have stories behind them? No one cares, you know? Yeah. But the like, few ones that we get a chance to actually di- dive into... They're like, like DCC you know, level zero too. characters. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I, think I, I think that's done on purpose, is that we're just literally throwing these... Misfits. Shitty misfits at the wall, and if they die, they die. Who cares? Nobody will miss them. You know? Like, as we as the audience were like, well, everyone's dead. Who all were those people? And I think Amanda Waller's like, exactly. So, I, I don't know. I, I kind of found it to be a, a strength myself. But if you don't care about the characters, how are you supposed to care about the movie? I mean, I care about the characters that they wanted me to. Yeah. Like, I thought it was pretty cool when Bloodsport was going back. Yeah, after establishing that he didn't really seem to care, you know, yeah, with that stuff. I thought Pokemon, uh, Polka Dot Man was very interesting. Dude, Pokemon like, Man, I mean, be he's a superhero. Right Pokemon, now, I'll tell you what, man. Oh, Polka Dot Man, in terms of like just like mental illness and and you know, literally being someone that's thrown away. Yeah, like the movie established all of the characters as people that you should hate, yeah. and then through the course of the plot, it made you care about the characters that you wanted to survive. How so, like, by the end, when you should be caring about these characters, you, you do. Sure. In the very beginning, the, the first grouping of those people, I have no idea who any of those guys are. Yeah, no. Except for Harley and Rick Flagg yeah. and Captain Boomerang. But that's mainly because of the first one. Yeah. And but <laughs> then they killed off Captain Boomerang, and then they kept Rick and Harley. Mm-hmm. And then the only people who had any, like, story developmental kind of backstory, like, they gave us blood uh, sports backstory stuff a little bit and gave yeah. him, like, some character. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got some exposition in the bus for him and Ratcatcher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they, I think they did that because it's like, all right, these are the characters we want you to know anything about. So the only ones we ever knew about were the only ones where I'm like, okay, well, some of these guys aren't dying. Yeah. And then they killed off some of them. But, like, the thinker didn't get as much as I wanted, you know? Sure. I wanted a little yeah. bit more with him, I felt like. I honestly wanted more King Shark, but also less King Shark 2 just makes him more fun, I think. But I enjoyed him yeah, a lot. Yeah. And his, his thing is just being lonely and isolated. He's and hungry. And impossible to stop. He's a good spice. Like, too much, and it would just... No, exactly. Yeah, kind of yeah. too much. I don't want too much of him. But I, I, I'm like, man, I wanted more of him. But yeah. at the same time, <laughs> that might not be the answer for yeah. it either. No, I mean, so. the last movie, in my opinion, like... Well, I mean, it's not David Ayer's fault, the director. Like, it's exactly what happened to uh, to the Justice League movie. Mm-hmm. The, the studio took it, chopped it up, reshot so much... And it's barely two movies put together that are trying to fit the mold of one movie, and it's not. It doesn't even tell the story in, like, the correct way. Like, they put the Suicide Squad together for a mission whose purpose hasn't even happened yet, (laughs) you know? Like, it's all fucking done out of order and mismatched. This, I feel like, is at least coherent, but it's not a tall order for this movie to be better than that first one. No, I don't think so either. I just, I am upset that Captain Boomerang died, though. Yeah. Ugh. I think that was like... But I mean, hey, good for Jai Courtney for being like, you want me back? Two minutes? Okay, I'll do it. You know? You just have to do that. Sure, like the trailer. I'd be okay with coming back for every single Suicide Squad movie if I died (laughs) in the first two minutes. Like the the trailers and stuff had, you know, Michael Rorick and Nathan Fillion. Rooker. Yeah, Rooker, sorry. Uh, uh, You know, John Cena. But I also remember... But then there's like, all right, kill everybody. When we did that trailer, I remember being like, how many people are, of these people are going to die? I didn't oh, know it was going to happen as quick, but I figured it was going to be. And still, yeah. it wasn't as quick as that guy that can climb walls in the first movie. Oh, my gosh. Where, What's like, his name? I don't remember. He's like, he was he's the climber or something. I don't know. What yeah. He's, he's played Ridiculous. by that guy that from Joe Dirt. I don't remember Joe Dirt at all. Remember the, oh, the Native American that sold fireworks? Yeah. I feel like a lot of the movie was in the trailers. Like, most of the jokes, I think, we already saw. 
Definitely There's some of them. There's a good many of them. I guess 5% of them? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, Most I, of the jokes in the trailer? Yeah. I I felt like I had seen a lot. I, there was in, probably about a third jokes. of the jokes um, in the trailer. No, I agree. I, mean, I agree I with that. I think the lot numbers that. disagree with that. Do they? What well, do you mean? How many jokes were there? And then how many jokes were in the trailer? Uh, the werewolf one, the all you came from me to save me, sure. the... Uh, uh, the reveal of Starro. The him uh, asking questions in the uh, thing. That bird. one. The bird one. Yeah. The, uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm mean, i sure there's a lot. Like Those are just ones I'm thinking of. I'm not even going through. Like, but I think the sentence, most of the jokes were in the trailer, has to be false. I mean, sure, Milton wasn't, right? Yeah. Uh, fucking, I don't if know. If there were 50 jokes in the movie, we saw, what, 15, 12? That's not most. I don't I'm know. just trying to be fair to Yeah, you. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I don't said know if there third. were a lot of... Which that's pretty close with your estimate. Yeah, and you're like, I don't think eating the third the most. Eating the dicks on the beach. I said a third. I didn't say the most. The toilet on his head. Um, I mean, no. I mean, there's definitely that's the one one thing though with trailers. That's why I don't like watching trailers lots of times because true. Yeah, they give away a lot of the stuff. Whereas like I feel like some of it I might have enjoyed more had it not been for trailers. You know, like the the reveal of Starro. I think would be oh fuck they're doing Starro in this. I think would have been really cool after watching like. The 15, 20 minutes or whatever of the of the movie, when you get like the thinker, and then you just see this giant starfish floating through space, like what the fuck? Yeah, you know, rather than the the trailer aspect. But I knew that was coming, so like that surprise element of the movie is gone. Sure, there was a little bit of surprise with the star because of all the little ones. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Which I like that. That's an interesting idea too. Yeah, I am glad that they revealed star relatively quickly in the movie and didn't keep him for too late. Well, yeah, because there's no point, especially if it's a big point in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which we have to also like marketing is not part of the actual movie making too. Like it's I, won't, I don't want to fault the movie for something marketing did. You know. No. Yeah. No. I guess. I think. Um, a- I think there's some marketing companies with like Disney and stuff that sometimes hide a lot of shit that you get surprised on by the end. Yeah. Of it, you know. Yeah. So like I can fault some of that. So is, to an, does to an poor extent. poor marketing make for a poor movie? Yeah. I think, I think it can, can hurt make the movie. For, it can make for a poor movie experience. I think it can harm it. I think that I think there could be like, oh man, this movie's so good, but someone had no idea what they were going into and watched it and like, man, I enjoyed this. Mm-hmm. Versus like, I think it can also help the movie. I think so too. Like Blair yeah. Witch, the marketing helped that movie. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It pushed it a lot. It pushed it a lot more than what it did. But I think that there can be issues with marketing where it like hurts a movie that could be like really good, but you gave away some of your bigger things mm-hmm. to where maybe it doesn't do as well anymore. Not to say like I don't think that this movie's like a fun. Like experiences, yeah, absolutely, stuff. Absolutely I think it's it. fun. I do think that there's definitely some elements of it where I'm like, man, this would have been much more than like the first ten minutes of us talking about like the trailers and stuff like that. And well, I don't remember this guy, so he's probably gonna be dead. And I don't know this, so it's, what here's this. Yeah, we went so. in with expectations, and yeah, I, mean, I feel like I try to actively avoid that when I'm watching something. But I get what you mean. You can't. Some at a certain point, you can't help it. No. Yeah. Right? We, I mean, we've seen like what three, four trailers for yeah. this movie. I feel like. You know? And like an extended behind the scenes of the beach sequence one yeah. too. That was like eight minutes or something. Yeah. So saying that kind of stuff, I think that this movie was much better than the first Suicide Squad. But also it's like impossible not to. But think. also marketing for that <laughs> screwed over that movie. Yeah. Uh, right. Editing for that screwed over that. Yeah. Movie. Who edited it? Uh, the the trailer. The guys that did right? the trailer. Sure. sure. <laughs> I, I, I can see your connection. <laughs> Like you can't get much more of like the marketing of that screwed it over, you know. But no, yeah, like I said, like character wise and stuff, like I really liked. My favorite was probably King Shark, just because of like what they did with him. I, I wanted more of him, and I also felt bad for him that he had like oh, yeah. no friends, but he also wanted to eat everything. Yeah, sure. I, I actually quite like Peacemaker because I really felt like he didn't want to kill them, but I had no doubt he would. I thought that was that's sure. a really hard thing I think to get across. He's kind of like, um, like a twist villain. I feel like that was very well written. He's kind of like Johnny Walker a little bit, right? Yeah. Like he's like the I'm the soldier loyal to True. my country that will do whatever I need to for my country, yeah. and I view that I'm the good guy. Yeah. But I'll kill women, children, men, whatever I need to to make sure I'm doing my job for my country, kind mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. Like Which a, can a, be too far. A lawful know? evil character. Yeah. Yeah. Which is interesting. So. Because I, I, I would say, like, Amanda flag. Waller is usually the lawful evil character, but here she, like, she gets a little more closer to the comics as, like, no, she's just evil sometimes. Sure. Yeah, threatening know. the guy's kid. Did it yeah. say why uh, Peacemaker was in prison, what he did? 
I'm assuming just like war crimes. I don't know. Uh, it didn't say. Hmm. Yeah. They didn't say I mean, he might, why he, he was even... in there, but he had the same backstory. I think yeah. the only one like... we'd know is Weasel for eating children. Did they no, say for any of the others? Bloodsport put Superman in the ICU with a kryptonite That's bullet. They said that sure. one. Um, Harley and was then drunk they driving. said that uh, Harley was drunk oh, driving. The they said that Cleo uh, was for armed robbery yeah. for a mm-hmm. bank. bank. I mean, Peacemaker, if he was there and Waller, that whole thing is like I, I was told to get this stuff. Possibly he was it. a plan. He might have been planted into the prison yeah. for that reasoning, rather than actually being a Suicide Squad. Member. Also, he might be there willingly from the beginning because, like, they walked past and his cell door was open and he was just standing at attention mm-hmm. at it. Rather I think than it's very like possible. her going by and opening the door, it's also very possible he just committed crimes because it's well, if it's for liberty, it's worth it, you know. And a yeah. judge might not care about that, but I don't know. That's possible too. Yeah, but don't know. Have no way of knowing. I'm assuming Nawade probably just ate some people because he was hungry, and that's why he's in prison. Yeah, I I can't help but reach that conclusion. <laughs> uh. And all the other ones, yeah, I don't know about. Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, the detachable kid, detachable kid. I didn't know why he was there, but I don't think he really did. I do love the idea that there was a situation in which his dumb power would have helped. Yeah, and he wasn't there. I think that I, if that's done on purpose. I thought that's really funny. Sure, like they could have driven the car had <laughs> yeah. he been able to detach his arm. Yeah, put yeah. into that hole. Yeah, drive the car by looking through. Because this is one of those powers. It's like, what are you gonna do with that? But they got in the one situation it would have helped. He's so ineffectual. He's just like barely slapping the. Yeah, people. and he's so. It wasn't slow. even like a punch because he doesn't have the hips. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't yeah. have the right. leverage. Yeah, it's, it's not well, like they go just... fast either. No, the, the two issues is that it's like based on the muscle he has in his arm. Yeah, so he doesn't have much there. And the other drawback I feel like is that he has to be able to see them to activate and use them. Mm-hmm. Like otherwise if he just closes his eyes, he can't tell what his hands are doing. Talk about hand eye coordination. Yeah, so like really he's ridiculous. <laughs> and is it can he only ridic- I mean, can he only do his like arms? Can he detach more? I don't know. And did he die? <laughs> he was in critical and then he was in critical condition. I guess I'm he, assuming he's dead. I guess he's dead. Yeah. Did they say what Blackguard could do? He can turn on his squad. Yeah, <laughs> I think he was just like, like a dead shot kind of character, probably. Dude, all the, all those guys are in that like name, names, 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 names. I don't names, know. I mean, that, I really enjoyed the movie, but there was also moments that I really loved the movie. I loved the uh, fight scene through the shot of the the helmet. Oh, so yeah, where awesome. it slowly panned around yeah. it. That was fucking amazing. It was really good. I like that. I also liked uh, Harley's fight. Um, after the big gun circle room, but before the machine guns that she had and the flowers everywhere, yeah. she fought mm-hmm. in like that mm-hmm. cagey room. Mm-hmm. It was like stuff. an armory. Yeah, I like that one. The the shots there was less cutting, and a lot of what it was felt much better than uh, like Birds of Prey had like a big fight scene. Yeah, and it was just very cutty and stuff. Too cutty. Yeah, robs like the emotion. Kind of yeah, emotions. and it was just like it just wasn't quite there, yeah. and it it I don't know. It, it didn't do it quite as good as what I thought this one did, where it's like, man, look at her just doing stuff and having fun doing it almost, yeah. you know? Yeah. No, I, I, I quite liked most of the action. I, I thought, you know, I didn't know anything about Bloodsport other than that he's a replacement for Deadshot. And it feels Pretty like much, he yeah. literally is, because Deadshot also had a daughter thing with in the first movie, you know, that was why he was doing this. And I, I wonder if that was, like, on purpose or not. But his, just... Like every whenever he was out of guns, he, it took him like forty seconds to check. Yeah. He's, He's like checking guns. his pockets it's for really his funny. wallet, mm. dude. It's really funny. And like all of those were like guns, but they all fit onto another gun or something. Like yeah, yeah, whatever that was. However, his it, stuff worked. It was, was kind of awesome. like the Power Rangers weapons, where they all come together to form a bigger gun. Yeah, yeah. But it was like he had his like pistols, but if you wanted to, you could put them on top, and then they made a shotgun, and then they made a rifle, and then they spun for some reason and did yeah. more. It was just crazy, but it was fun, too. I, I liked it. My favorite thing was Bloodsport made a Bloodsport reference. <laughs> he did. did he? he was talking about the uh, the Don Mock, the which one is hit from Bloodsport. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. That's funny, then. I didn't get that. I've never watched Bloodsport. I mean, it, it might be from other stuff, too, but it's in Bloodsport. Yeah. You remember yeah. when they're in the car, and he's yeah. like talking about like the one-hit kill? Yeah. 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 Amateurs. Yeah, you can hit someone once. You can't do that consistently. I think my favorite part was... You know, not that they were trying to one up each other when they were coming into the rebel camp to kill him, mm. but whenever he said like, what, "What exactly did he say?" It's like no one likes to show off. No one likes to show they off. Like, like show what off. you do when you're dope as fuck, and he's like, 
Damn it. Right. <laughs> and he is. <laughs> that, was, yeah. that part was, was my favorite part of that scene. He yeah. killed all those innocent people. It's, it's okay when, you, when what you're showing off is dope as fuck. Yeah. He's like, fuck, he's right. I really liked, uh, as far as like the, the shots and everything for it, um, the title moments and stuff that they did for a lot of it. Mm-hmm. And the chapter like, titles. Yeah, like those kind of things. And as well as, uh, there were just different shots that felt like comic book-like mm-hmm. sections. Like I really liked when uh, Ratcatcher was telling like her backstory and stuff a bit. It's her sitting on a bus, but I could easily see it from a comic perspective yeah. where like they're using that window as like another panel yeah. to show yeah. like a, a past... panel inside the panel. Yeah, and not a ton of stuff is really happening in there necessarily. No. Like it's her crying over like her dead father and stuff. Which could just be a panel and like stuff like that that they kind of had implemented in him leaving like the van out into just white, but it's the rain with the light and stuff. Mm-hmm. But that, that easily could have been like the end of a comic sure. where it's him walking out into the whiteness and then you're like, to be continued, what's gonna happen next? You know? I'm sure, like, I'm sure there's a lot of shots like that that I really like. I'm sure something like that has been put to film before, but I've personally never seen it, so it was a very unique like. Film look for sure, him. like Zack Snyder's had shots that feel like comic moments and stuff too, and whatnot. Yeah, but it was ways that they shot this one too that I thought was like I like them sure. kind of like almost pulling almost using inspiration. negative space on a comic book. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like pulling the inspiration from comics to like let's shoot this like this. What was that movie called Sin City? Sin City, yeah. Oh, where yeah. it was like black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, some of that kind of stuff. There's various, yeah. there's various ones that do that kind of stuff. So I, I like, I like seeing that for a comic book movie, yeah. but it doesn't also like. Sin City, I think, really pushed it, mm-hmm. and it, you feel it much more. Whereas this one is more a little, it more of a it's spice. little subtle kind of things. Like that, there is just like a nice way of showing Ratcatcher and her past and stuff. And like you might just be like, "Oh, it's cool," but you could be like, "Man, that's kind of like a comic panel. I could see that." And same thing with the way they did like some of those, uh, like uh, Jotunheim or whatever it was. Like, the way Jotunheim, Jotunheim, the way they had like the titles of different things could be like. When you get a comic and you you see the first page and the first page has like a big title thing, but it's made of fire because there's giant bu- buildings burning and stuff. Sure, yeah. like it just felt like oh, it's a cool way of. Well, like, and we had some like meanwhile with Harley, yeah, style stuff. As yeah, well. and that's straight from comic books. That happens all the time. Yeah, or even TV shows. You know, mm-hmm. like comic book TV shows and stuff would do that. You know? Especially meanwhile, you at the Hall of Justice. Yeah, like yeah. that kind of stuff happens all the time. Nine so. days earlier. I, I really like those at that aspect of things, like some of the cinematography and like the, the thinking of like transitioning from one to the other. Yeah. Because usually I hate the, all right, this three days earlier. You yeah. Know, Twelve. Yeah, hours I hate earlier. how is yeah. our character going to get out eight of this impossible days. situation? Yeah. And then they do it later with eight minutes ago with seeing what happened up sure. there. Sure. I like that when it's done with a purpose and not or a narr- narrative purpose and not just like. We have time to fill. Sure. Know? And it fits in with like that comic book idea where like that comic could have ended with Peacemaker holding the gun on Ratcatcher and then that's where the comic ends. And yeah. then the next comic, you come back and you're not at that point. You're eight minutes earlier with yeah. these characters and then it combines back together and you're like, oh shit, that's how it comes together, you know? So I really like, that. Just it just felt like watching elements of a comic book because they, yeah. they chaptered it out as well and the way they shot it. So I really like elements of that yeah. a lot. I wish it were like when they do like the eight minutes or whatever earlier that if you rewind eight minutes, it's exactly synced up. So that you can like sync them and, and yeah, watch like... you can watch both like of them whole, side whole, by a side. A shot here and then it comes out the wall here. <laughs> sure, something like that. Yeah, that would be cool. I've like when the explosion happens, that you Rick and uh, uh, Peacemaker are like, oh shit, what's yeah, happening and easy. stuff. And then that gets ticking through so like it actually fits eight minutes. Mm-hmm. So you yeah. said... Sorry, did you have uh, Just that? to uh, the specific uh, chapter title of Jodenheim, I thought was awesome too. The way yeah. it was like junk. made out of junk. Yeah, well, yeah, that from one a 3D perspective. could have been practical. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure that one was. It, I think it was just because the depth of field was so correct. Yeah, because like the really O good. for Jodenheim was way out of focus, mm-hmm. and then when they passed by, it kept that. <laughs> I, don't know. I also enjoyed when they blew up. Savant's head, and they were like, Warner Brothers presents. <laughs> With the, <laughs> like, like, the blood in the water? All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys said that uh, Harley felt different here, had a different accent or something? Uh, Eric was saying about that. I think in Birds of Prey, she's more Harley Quinn. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people said before, I think in the first Suicide Squad, like she doesn't quite have like that Harley Quinn accent stuff. Mm. I mean, it, she does... It, it was. It, it's, I haven't watched it for a while, but it felt more pronounced here, or more... Intentional, sure, as opposed to subtle in the first one. Melanie, 
Melanie likes Harley Quinn from like uh, the TV shows and stuff, mm-hmm. and she had said like she hadn't watched Suicide Squad, but she'd seen the trailers, and she didn't say that she felt like it. She's like, I don't think Margot Robbie's gonna do a good job. Mm-hmm. But then her and I went to Birds of Prey, and she goes, that felt well, that felt like Harley Quinn. Yeah. So like I definitely a, think that she's kind of like leaned more into like yeah the the voice and stuff for it. Too. A little and bit that she's I knew done about a really good job with it now. Yeah. The little bit that I knew about Harley Quinn was that she had a very strong like Brooklyn Brooklyn accent. Yeah. And. The first time I actually heard it was probably in Arkham Asylum. Mm-hmm. I think Tara Strong did her there. Too. Probably. Yeah. She, she w- did the she Batman, the Batman series. animated series. Bruce Timm created Harley yeah. Quinn. He was in the special thanks. He was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when, when uh, I heard her in Suicide Squad, I was like, oh man, they toned it down a lot. I, mm-hmm. I guess that's like a choice to make it more like realistic and sure. Sure. less cartoony. But I do enjoy her like accent and... The way she's just a little bit more. She's sure. a little bit extra. I've never way. been the biggest Harley Quinn fan. I actually, I really like the TV show. But there were moments in this where I'm like, I don't love that one. But I loved her. I don't know. Whenever everybody was having an argument, she's just like, I'm walking back and forth in the background. <laughs> yeah. That was funny to me. Um, it took me off guard, at least. They've definitely, in the last, in the Birds of Prey and in this one, I think, have made her kind of more in the acrobatic realm. I don't remember Suicide Squad so much if she was la- that acrobatic. But in yeah. Birds of Prey, I feel like they really kind of I mean, she still has the feeling stuff. of like, so why is this, this girl with the bat, bat the bat here? You know? Like, this is a group of metahuman people in Harley Quinn. And it's generally like, well, she's popular. So we throw her in there. But yeah, she does feel like she's gotten more... Uh, it's like in this one, whenever like I was like, man, she jumped high. It's yeah, like, yeah, she just ran up there, and jumped yeah. up. Yeah, you know? she jumped like, up there like like and, if if you can do it at a, at a circus, she could probably do it. In Birds yeah, of Prey, yeah. she's doing like flips and stuff. Yeah. She's on roller skates, Ooh, like doing different things. Shit. Like she just feels a little bit more acrobatic, which reminds me of like the shots I've seen from like Harley Quinn in like the Arkham series or in the Batman anime series where she like does backflips and whatnot and cartwheels and stuff. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it seems a little bit more circus y, I guess. I don't know, like a gesture. Something like that, yeah. She picked up like a 220 pound man by going like this. <laughs> that was impressive. I did like that. I liked how Milton was just in the group shot and oh, just yeah. in the group. Well, I like how they the referenced it too, thing. where it's like, why the fuck was Milton here? <laughs> now, what, oh, I didn't understand his polka dot man. He was like, I really liked him. But isn't everyone his mom? Maybe that's the first one that wasn't. Or he most resembled the mom or something, and he, like, related know. more. I don't know. Or he least resembled the mom. Maybe that's it, too, yeah. So like, it was the hardest to put her face on his body. I mean, he does seem like he has, he, like, there's almost like a choice of not meeting people's eye line. Maybe if he just doesn't interact with them that way, he can, like, get to know somebody without actually looking like Charlie Cox does as Daredevil. Sure, you yeah. Know? It felt like that. I mean, that actor is so good. This is also like his second DC character because he was, he was the Joker's henchman in The Dark Knight. Yes, he's he was. like the one that like he Harvey, was the crazy guy, the crazy one that Harvey yeah. Dent is interrogating mm-hmm. before he goes full. I knew I recognized face. his face, and then, of couldn't, course he's an Ant Man too. But I thought I thought he did really good. Oh, his superhero moment. I mean, I, I could see it coming. Yeah, he's definitely going to die a mile away. I also was like. He kind of wants it to, you know? He's kind of had this torsion existence. and The idea of his power is interesting, too, where it's like this alien virus. Interdimensional sickness. Interdimensional. Sure. Yeah. And the fact that like his mom worked at Star Labs and wanted him to be a superhero. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. him but like, yeah. when, the, when the polka dots came out, they didn't really seem... I mean, they were moving in 3D space, but they themselves didn't really seem like they had depth. Mass. Volume. So yeah. like maybe it's like a two-dimensional disease. They looked like... Oh, what are those you know, little... They were coming out on a skin in 3D, but sure. when he actually releases them, they're like... It's like a video game when you look at a leaf, you can just see the same thing on the other side. Yeah, you know what? What's that game where it has little plastic see-through like discs? Bingo. Tiddlywinks. Tiddlywinks. They looked like Tiddlywinks. I, never heard of that I thought Bingo was fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've I, heard. I, I have no Bingo. idea what Tiddlywinks is, but I've heard like we played Tiddlywinks, kid. You know, like that kind of thing. Like, what the sure. fuck does that mean? Yeah, t- um, t- Tiddlywinks are what the things are called that you put on the bingo sheet. Okay. Oh, they're like little red yeah. discs. I, I yeah. didn't know. Yeah, when you said I'm like, I'm like, bingo. bingo? Yeah. yeah, I've so always you looked like, at me like I was an idiot. I'm like, I always had little red discs that I put on top of bingo. Yeah. Yeah. I played bingo with my grandma. It's the giant marker. Yeah. I've, yeah, I've always seen like a marker or like circle yeah. it with These were ones for like, like at that. home that we played whenever gotcha. we were playing because you wanted to use the same ones over and stuff. Sure. But you can also play games with them. You can like 
use one to press down on another and like flip them huh. sort of thing. Oh, shoot. What's that game called? I think it's called Tiddly Winks. Is it? Yeah. Son of a bitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's a great word. <laughs> Next, you're going to say that there, there, and there all mean different things. English. They don't. Neither I does wonder are. what the new dumb friends were. The new dumb friends? Yeah, the fish. Oh. That, that were like I don't know what new those were. Friends. Like they said they were doing experiments on Starro, so maybe that's coming from it. Yeah, I knew. Some I was like, like DNA manipulation. Or like, what the hell are these? I was like, I think they're this. I'm like, I don't know what the they hell look they are. Like, they look like, like they're, they're fake as fuck. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, I thought too. Yeah. And then like whenever he, put, <laughs> <laughs> ah! yeah, those aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. I, don't, I honestly thought, like, well, shit, is he going to die? Dude, I really liked it. Yeah, I know, because like, yeah. there was so much blood and stuff. But I really liked it, and he was like, oh, oh, friends. Yeah, and he's yeah. just running. <laughs> that was a great scene. Oh, I mean, it, 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 he's like it a child. slowed everything down that was happening. But I, it was kind of a, I don't know. I, I, I imagine some people might not like that it slowed it down like that, but I kind of quite liked it. I liked it, too. Yeah. See? What? They, they're little jellyfish, but they have little angel wing things yeah, on them. But that's yeah. not they that. They don't have the eyes, but those pretty things. Close. Yeah, pretty take, close. A, take those and mix those with the ghosts from Pac-Man. Yeah, then you got it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a boo or whatever. I was extremely shocked that there was a dick in this movie. Yeah. In a DC movie. I mean, was, we didn't need it. It could have easily yeah. cut out. I guess. But it's there. It, that, There's so much blood and violence. I that know, could but have been America, six Rick. inches, well, <laughs> could have been like 18 inches bad. higher, and you no, wouldn't have seen dicks. No dicks, no, nothing under underwear, Yeah. and sometimes titties are okay. Yeah. Like that's, but you can have as much blood and brains and violence and gore as you want. It's fine. Yeah. However, flip it over into like other countries. Like I got shocked if the there was going to be a dick yeah. in a DC movie. It wasn't Zack Snyder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it felt like, like one of the main goals of the movie was just to shock you shock you so mm-hmm. i think that was just another way to do it, it certainly was like, wait was that what i thought it was yeah maybe that's the reason why they let their marketing department go ham is because they knew even if you know all of this stuff you're still going to be a gape with just yeah. shock i try to be points. like i mean marketing for dc has been horrible for every project they've ever done uh since they've been doing the new stuff so I try to like separate it in my head from like the actual filmmakers. I didn't think Aquaman's was too bad. Yeah, from what I remember. But go on. Yeah. Well, it certainly has been a detriment to a lot of its movies. Aquaman probably not so much, but I mean, it also did extremely well. And I was happy for it. It's one of my favorite DC movies, honestly. Um, with Wonder Woman, and I quite like the Snyder cut. Wonder Woman might have been okay. The first Wonder Woman. I'm trying to remember it, but I think it might have been alright. I too. felt like Wonder Woman two definitely had the same thing where it's like man I saw a lot of this, a lot of this yeah you know but yeah there's definitely moments in there I'm like damn well, why they show this I mean the thing I like this? about this marketing is like you know I've seen like well Jai Courtney is out there marketing the movie and I'm like oh okay well he must be pretty substantial in the movie it's not just know? DC like Marvel with um, Captain Marvel like they ruin one of their very powerful moments mm-hmm. in the trailer yeah I, I can't remember, I remember at this one. point but it, it's the one of her like going you. Through her whole life, getting back up again. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's a good one. I think I remember you. I get what you mean. Complaining about that when we watched the movie. <clears throat> sure. Most of those, though, they usually do a good job keeping a lot of that under wraps for most of their stuff. So, like the big, I think that removes that moment of like some of the emotional. If you've seen the trailer and stuff, um, though, you might have more because you've watched through and you're you're at that point. Yeah. Um, so but the, it the, doesn't ruin like twist turns or any yeah. that kind of stuff you know the thing is like with marketing especially whenever we're getting to the point where we're like making a movie about Captain Marvel and here's another suit like a second Suicide Squad is the general audience is gonna be like who the fuck's Captain Marvel you know and they're not gonna really go out to see it unless like oh that seems good look at this yeah so I, I'm, I mean you don't really have to market much a Batman movie because most people are gonna like I know sure. Batman I'm gonna go see Batman people saw the first Suicide Squad movie yeah. they're like I already saw one I ain't watching another one yeah and they were like I'm out and then you're like well look at all these names sure like, I mean Damn, Disney look at all these names you know names. you know Disney you know with the Mandalorian Disney Plus they lost out on <clears throat> millions and millions of merchandise opportunities by not having Baby Yoda in there you know um and they, but they knew that Star, it's Star Wars. People were going to check it out. So sure, they had the confidence in that brand. I think Grogu I think merchandise is doing just fine. Oh, yeah. it's doing fine I, now. I but, think they did all right. <laughs> but it wasn't immediate. It was there was a, they lost out on billions of dollars to third you know people doing like fake, third party fake stuff. Yeah, sure. 
Sure, I guess so. I'm just mm-hmm. saying, like, your 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 uh, board of directors is going to be like, so this is so popular, why aren't we making money from it yet? You know? So it's, it's still a huge risk. But no, I enjoy I that when it happens. It's just, I you know, I try... I want to be fair to the movie and not review the marketing, you know? No. But it, it, you know, whenever you're a reaction channel, we got to do a couple trailers or at least one, you know? Sure. Sure, no. And at first, whenever it's going like, to go into the beach, I'm like, oh, man, maybe they're going to jump into the Star Wars stuff, like, right away. Yeah. yeah. And that's really only, like, the first 30, 30 minutes to 60 minutes of it, mm-hmm. and then we get into something else. And they just fucking trick the hell out of me, sure. you know? Because yeah. yeah. sometimes they do that. They'll show you something... In a, in a trailer, and it'd be like, oh, damn, that must be the big bad. And then you get into it, and you're like, no, really, this is what the big bad is. You didn't even know. Yeah. But, I mean, the big trick for me was, like, I, I imagine most of these characters are going to die. It was just, when's it going to happen? Is it going to, you know... Sure. In, in a what ridiculous fashion. In what ridiculous fashion. But it was extremely fast for most of them. Yeah. No, it was. Which, I don't know. It, I think that you could have the criticism of, like, they're doing that just to shock or just to... Uh, give you the unexpected, but I, I, I don't know. I, I kind of felt like it solidified Amanda Waller's uh, sure. v- view on these people. You but know? see, part of me, I, st- I still think that I think the, the movie would do better if I had more connection with some of the characters. Like you were saying earlier, like, man, I'm still pissed they killed off Captain Boomerang. Yeah. But, like, that moment, like, no, Captain Boomerang! Yeah. But I, I didn't care about the rest of the fucks. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, yeah. Mongal, what's that? Sure. Yeah, wow, and it's weasel. probably my fault for not seeing the first one, but you know? I had no idea who Captain Boomerang was. Sure. But, anything. like, if I had more of that reaction to all those guys dying as I did to Captain Boomerang, mm-hmm. I feel like I'd be like, Jesus, man, anyone could die. And then I'm like... I also especially love Jai Courtney just because of Spartacus. Yeah, sure. Not yet either. Yeah, no. Yeah. But, like, see, that kind of sets it up where, like, man, anyone could die, man. I'm a little worried. Yeah. As opposed to, oh, I don't know any of these people. They're all dead. Oh, I know a little bit of these guys' backstories. They're probably Honestly, safe. Honestly, the you only know? person I felt was safe in the entire movie was Harley Quinn. Like, really? We're not going to kill Harley Quinn in the Suicide Squad movie. But anybody else, I felt like, easily could have died. I figured I actually, Harley I Quinn, the Peacemaker was dead. Bloodsport, mm-hmm. those are the two I figured weren't going to die. Yeah. Those are the main two. Really? I thought Bloodsport could have died. I didn't, I didn't expect him to die. And then as we got more and more into it, I didn't figure Ratcatcher would die. I figured Ratcatcher wasn't going to die. But I easily could have seen Bloodsport. I didn't think Rick Flagg was going to die. Yeah. I, I figured him and uh, Harley Quinn were probably the safest. Like, there's that thing about, they use the term plot armor, where it's like, uh, how, how, do you, how would you say it? Like, I think it's impossible for Harley Quinn to have died in this movie. Like, yeah, I think Bloodsport could have. Maybe not narratively would have been a good thing. I, I kind of want him to survive because he has this open-ended thing with his daughter, you know? Sure. But, like, it's impossible for Harley Quinn to have died in this movie, I feel like. That, isn't that, isn't that kind of what plot armor is? I mean, I it's suppose. essentially, it's sure. like the story. It's like, like, because of the way the story is, this character can't die because yeah. we need to progress the story to get from point A to yeah. point B. It's like in James Bond. Yeah. Like, you're like, James Bond's not going to die because yeah. he's the main character and we got to get from point A to point B. It's why, it, you, know? you know, 10 years ago, Game of Thrones flips that on its head and it's like, wait, what? He can't die. And that's why everybody's so shocked and that's why that show got so popular so quick. It's first season, you know? But yeah, I, I still felt like, I mean, Harley Quinn just makes too much money for DC. They're not going to kill her yet. Yeah. But see, if they would have done the blood sport thing yeah. in the very first part of it, yeah. did the whole daughter stuff, had him on the beach instead of Rick Flag, yeah. and then he died right off the bat. Yeah. I'd have been like, holy hell. Because that one there, like, you think there's plot armor because it's his daughter thing. He's doing it for her. He's got to survive and make it through this. Or else the daughter's fucked. Yeah. yeah. And he dies, like, on the beach. Right I was extremely back. shocked like, that Rick, Rick Flagg died. I mean, he's a staple for suicide. Yeah. Sure. No. I thought maybe they were bringing him back there at yeah. the end, too. He's the same yeah. guy. He's the guy that, like, leads the team in the first movie, too. So it's really just Harley, Rick Flagg, Captain Boomerang from the original team, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, Savant didn't do anything. No, he killed a bird. I know, but like once he was on the beach, he just ran away scared. And I was I mean, like, "These are not the best of the best." Amanda Waller does it because they know. were the they should have been the, the B team. Yeah, but then they would have known that they were the B team. Mm-hmm. She could have sent less people. She needed it to last long enough, though. I guess she sent two teams, right? Wasn't tactically advantageous. I like, even though Starro, like, I knew he was in the trailer, I sure. like the hive mind 
aspect mm-hmm. that he has and how he like that's how he gets bigger is by yeah. doing this stuff. And it kind of sucks at the end for him where he's like, I was happy in space. Oh. Well, I mean, like, yeah, you know, it's like, still, like those experiments, thinking about that is so disturbing. Sure. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like things that happen. It's like King Kong in a way, right? Where like he was on his island doing his own shit. They fucking came, they took him, brought him over to New York. He gets pissed off because yeah. he's not home. He tears everything up. He has to die. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I mean, we kill him for, for being yeah. himself. Yeah. And while they say that those people are dead that are under the little fish, they establish that they kind of feel each other's pain. So he's feeling the pain of all the mutilations they were doing to those bodies too. Sure, because like whenever Polka Dot was doing his foot, all of them were like, "Oh!" Yeah. Although I love when it was the mom being like, "Ah!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just smashing but, buildings. But no, stuff. yeah, no, it's. it's no, I mean his his like thing at the end is like I like looking at the stars. I was like, but dude, like ten minutes ago, you're like, ah, "This city is mine," yeah. you know. Sure. Yeah. But I think he's just pissed off. Yeah. Maybe he just Correct. wanted well, a big empty place that he could lay down on his back yeah. and just look up at the stars at night. Yeah. But what happens to people. like if if you were just a peaceful individual and then you just got captured and experimented on for thirty years? Sure, you might be like, "Fuck, I'm taking this city. I own it. It's owned to me. This yeah. is my city now, bitch." This is restitution. Look at me, I'm a kaiju. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Practically a god. Bane, right? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Like, you just would suck. It would suck. When he was just floating in space, they brought him in. Did they like tie him up and stuff too, or what happened? Like. I mean, he was, like, was that a defensive thing to like take him over? Was it expanding? Was it? I don't know. They had him sure. like strapped to the wall, and they were like taking pictures and stuff next to him, and like, like fucking just leave him in space. He's the one to float around. Sure. Just oh bye. You know. They did <laughs> say like they they ignored all like quarantine protocol and stuff like that. Well, yeah, that's well, that's what the general guy was saying. He's like yeah. fucking just found us in space, brought him in, started taking pictures with him. What the hell are they thinking is gonna happen? Yeah. I'm just grab alien shit like that. Better than an No, that's maybe. what we do. Yeah. Fucking everyone, the fucking if Russians are up there, they'd have done the same thing probably. Fucking put it in their thing. Got eaten. It's always weird when we watch movies like this and it's like, yeah, the American government is responsible for all this. I, I don't think this has been my belief too much. Like, no, yeah, yeah, I hear that happens and I'm just like, all right, well, I'm going to go to McDonald's. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, it's just part of life, I guess, huh? No, yeah. Yeah, with one hand, we, we give bounties for Nazis and with the other, we commit genocides mm-hmm. and Stuff like that. I don't know how many movies are made like in other countries where, like, we always have like Russia, Korea, yeah. like those are the ones. You want to wonder like the other movies were like, ah, America, they're doing this, and, like oh, that's yeah. how they made this yeah. and that and whatever. Well, sure. Depending on the country, sometimes the government is what funds movies. So, sure, I guess that's true. But the conspiracy is that what happens here too. So, sure. Anyway, um, yeah. I mean, look at like Call of Duty. And- Modern Warfare. Stuff like that. But yeah, overall, I mean, I had fun watching the movie. Um, I think I would have had more fun had it not been for some marketing stuff. But I get you. I enjoyed, I enjoyed most of the movie, and I think it was fun. Like, the, the gags are pretty good. I yeah. really like the cinematography of a lot yeah, of it. A lot of very good visual elements. Yeah, I really like like the, yeah. the comic book aspect of some of the shots and stuff. Sure. Like, a lot of that stuff I really liked. I definitely and then the fights and stuff, too, I thought most of them were pretty good. Like, I... Even though it sucks for all the guys they killed, I enjoy them going through the camp, like mm-hmm. showing off different ways of killing everybody and how sure. professional they are and sneaking around. And that yeah. one guy that was asleep and he just went chop, 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 yeah. walking by him. That's so brutal. No, yeah, yeah, it was. But yeah. that was just an innocent dude. Yeah. The, the last thing about like the marketing thing too is like at the very least, I feel like I had the shock and excitement that Star was going to be in this movie. I just didn't have it while watching the movie. Sure. As opposed to like. Somebody told me, or like sure. I read it in an article. Like that's yeah. the stuff that I can't stand. And that's usually like when my I watch thing. a trailer. At the least, like you know, I laughed at those jokes already. You know, does that make the joke worse because it's my second time seeing it? Sure. I don't, you know, so I get you. There's uh, the aspect. My main thing usually is like most of these movies when they usually would come out would be in theaters. We never get to show them on the channel. Mm-hmm. It would be just a review usually. Yeah. So. Watching the trailers is the only time like any of those shock and awe You're gonna and get any comic moments, and that will be going shown. away soon. Yeah, too. And, yeah we have some more with HBO. Disney may be done with theirs and yeah. stuff. Like a lot of that streaming stuff is like exclusively in theaters now, so it may be gone with a lot of that. So sure, sure. But it is what it is. I just I hope eventually marketing teams like all right, we're only going to show the first half of the movie. So yeah. what's the best of our first half of movie that we yeah. want to show? So we can still leave some stuff in the last half of the movie. You know. Yeah. It would be really great if movie studios only gave like the first half hour or first hour of their movie to the 
trailer editors. So that that's all they get. Yeah, make a fun trailer out of this stuff. Because if you don't get good stuff for your trailer in the first half of your movie, you, yeah, movie probably sucks. Well, and you know, <laughs> if, if the jokes had been amazing, they would have been funny the second time too. But it just didn't hold up quite as well for me. Mm-hmm. A lot of the jokes. The second sure. Time. I think it's why I wanted more King Shark too, because a lot of King Shark's jokes had already been in there. Like, not one of my as, favorite ones yeah. was him being in that aquarium, being like, oh, 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 and I was like, and oh, running around, it's in so circle. sweet, and I yeah. love it, and it's he's like, oh, it's like so innocent. But like that part wasn't in the yeah. trailer. You know? I, it wasn't I like, like the end where he's like, like numb, numb, numb. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. huh. no, it was funny. I like Just that. the way people bounce off of him too, especially knowing that there's no one there. You know, sure. <clears> or at least if there is, it, it doesn't look at all like yeah. that. And Stallone, like, it was one, voice was probably my favorite performance I've ever seen him do. I've only it's seen the only like, one. I've only seen like four movies then. But <laughs> it's funny too because like you would think that it's like, all right, your direction is be dumb. But to me, and not to insult the man, but to me it sounds like be what people say you sound like. That's like kind of what it was like. Over be an impersonation. Uh, yeah, an impersonation of yeah. Stallone is what it kind of sure. felt like. I felt it really worked. Though there were moments of just super, super dumb. But no, nah, for me, I, I think I enjoyed this more than Wonder Woman 2. Myself. Wonder, Wonder Woman 2? Yeah. That one didn't shock me. I, I like <laughs> Pedro Pascal a lot in that movie, but everything else didn't really do it for me. This one did it for me the whole way through. Uh, the Snyder Cut, I mean, it's hard to compare to something that's four hours long and, and all that that I'd already hated previously with the Justice League, so sure, no. that's kind of like unfair, but I'd put this up there with Aquaman for myself, I think. Up there with Aquaman? Mm-hmm. And the first Wonder Woman. I think I still put those above this one. Yeah. But I think I would put this above like Batman v Superman and the original Justice League and... Don't you say Man Steel? I can't take it. One hundred percent, the first Suicide Squad. That's yeah. the big thing. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to think. Like Man of Steel, because my first time watching Man of Steel, I didn't watch, like it as much. My yeah. second time, I liked it a lot more. Yeah. So I'm like, man, I don't know where I put gotcha. them as far as like Man of Steel and yeah. that one together, you know? But yeah. I don't know. So you put it above Man of Steel? I, I liked know. it more than Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin, <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you? I, that one's a classic. I really love watching that movie. <laughs> I love that movie. That movie was made for a trailer. Girl, Steve! No, that whole joking. movie is a trailer. I'm joking. I knew I would get a rise out no. of you. Oh, I man. love it That's so That's the best fervently. DC movie. Well, that one's just under the Val Kilmer bat. Bad forever. I should have said that one instead. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this movie reaction to The Suicide Squad. Uh, there's going to be more uh, HBO Max movies coming out, so please make sure you subscribe. We're going to be reacting to more, including stuff like The Matrix 4. I want to check that out. Other things. We also have movies every single week this week, too.